friends, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to do a review of the Motor Planners, which are affordable letter planners that you can find either on Amazon or AliExpress. And I have two planners here to show you today. This is a personal size and this is a pocket size. This planner comes from their Imperfect line where they sell planners with certain flaws on them for a deep discount. And this is just a regular planner without any flaws. Now, Moterm is considered to be a Gilio, Filefax, Vanderspeck dupe, and I don't necessarily agree with that anymore. I think at this point, they've established themselves well enough where they can start doing their own thing, and they'll probably do well. But these are really great affordable alternatives for those brands if you are saving money or you're not willing to spend that much money for a planner. I think you get a lot for what you pay for with Moterm. So let's start first with a personal planner. This is the first Moterm that I purchased and I got this pretty quickly. I ordered this on AliExpress and it came to me in less than three weeks, which is really fast for AliExpress. So I purchased this for around $37, including shipping, definitely less than $40. And like I said, you get a lot of planner for what you pay for. You get a full back pocket here, another full back pocket here, some card slots, four of them. And then you get this uh, ring protector. You get a fly leaf with a pen loop and more card slots. And then in the back, you get two more card slots, a gusseted zipper pocket. And then you get another pen loop, which is elasticized. I should mention that both pen loops are elasticized. And a big back pocket. So for $37 total, that is a lot. So even with the imperfections of this planner, I'm very, very happy. And as far as imperfections go, the ones that I've noticed is this tiny scuff on the clasp. And then... I did notice a puncture here on the spine. And then once I started using this planner a little bit more, I did notice this really long crack here along the full pocket. And I think they did that on purpose where they took this crack and just kind of put it in the back of the planner so it's not very noticeable. and. Honestly, I don't even like remember that it's there because when you push back the ring protector, like you can't even see it. I'm not mad about the flaws. Again, for $37, I really can't be angry about it. It's it's still a really, really good planner. Some people have doubts about whether this is genuine leather, and I can say for sure that it is indeed real leather. It feels really nice in the hand. It smells really, really good like real leather. And when I used a healing balm on this planner, the leather actually did absorb the conditioner and the color came out a lot richer and the leather came out a lot shinier, as you can see here. That looks beautiful. So this is the healing balm that I used. This is the Chamberlain's Leather Milk. And I only used it on this planner so that I could kind of help the scratches along. And it did help it become less noticeable but it's still there but it doesn't bother me that much and I did use this planner for about two months and the letters softened a lot in that time I don't know if you can see but it's just very very soft and pliable now it feels so good in the hand and I remember when I got this clasp this clasp was really really stiff and now it's really really soft and it just, I don't know, it just feels really great in the hand. I'm really happy that I got this planner. Oh, and I forgot to mention that when I ordered this planner, it came with silver rings. But they also sent me gold rings so I can swap it out. And they sent me two page lifters, with it, which I'm using here. And then I have one in the back as well. So those came free with my purchase. And they also sent me a stack of lined paper. So you have enough to get started when you purchase one of these planners. You already have your inserts, your page lifter, 
um, everything you need, which is really, really great. So that is my personal rings planner. This is my pocket planner. I also ordered this on AliExpress and again, it came to me very, very quickly, less than three weeks. I should mention that this is alligator brown, the color and pattern when you look for it on their Motrim store. And this is the crop pink. And this feels really, really different from this. This feels smoother and I think it's a bit sturdier. It might just be because I haven't used this as much as this. But if you notice the floppiness of this one, like the letters conform to the rings. This one holds up its shape pretty well. And one thing I noticed with this letter is it doesn't indent into the rings. I think the reason they put a ring protector on this planner is because these rings will indent into this letter. But this one, I haven't really done anything to it. I've just been using it as normal and the letter still looks fine. There are no indentation marks here. This layout is a dupe of the Filofax Classic Croc, I believe. The personnel planner is a dupe of the A6 Giglio Campagna. And this one is Filofax Classic Croc. So you get a gusseted zipper pocket in the front. And then you get a full height pocket here. In the back you get another full height pocket and four credit card slots. And then you get a pen loop. You also get a fly leaf with credit card slots in the back, but no pen loop on this fly leaf. And you also get a big back pocket. So I don't remember how much I paid for this one. I think it was $42 total with shipping. It did cost more than the personal planner, the imperfect personal planner, but still a great deal overall. This leather feels very, very smooth. And again, it smells really, really good, like real leather. And when I purchased this, it came with a lot of free stuff to go with it. I got two page lifters in this planner as well. I got this ruler bookmark. And ooh, what else did I get? I don't remember. I definitely got this zipper insert in it as well. I unboxed this on my Instagram and I have that story in my highlights if you want to check it out. I have all of the free stuff listed on my highlights, but you get a lot when you purchase a perfect planner on the AliExpress store, which is the reason why I bought from AliExpress because not only is it cheaper than Amazon, they throw in a lot of free stuff to go with it. So I didn't add any sort of conditioner on this planner and it's already quite shiny. I don't know if this letter is treated or not, or if it's gonna age the way this letter did, but again, it's very, very sturdy. It hasn't marked up or anything. It didn't indent into the rings. So this would be a good planner to just kind of toss around in your bag. And I don't feel like I had to baby this the way I had to baby my Jillios. And speaking of Jillio, I do have my personal rings planner to compare and my Vanderspeck. So this is the Motrin Planner and this is the Giglio Epica Gold. It's not a very fair comparison because the pattern's different, but obviously you're gonna get a different quality type of letter with Giglio. It's just a whole different level. Uh, same with Vanderspeck. And you can feel a difference when you hold both letters in your hand, but I think the Motrin letters stand on their own pretty well. Especially this pink crock leather. It feels really, really nice in the hand. So as far as leather comparison goes, I think Motorm is pretty good quality for what you pay for. Even if you had to pay a little bit extra, I think it's worth it because the leather really does feel that nice. Even next to the Giglio's. I do want to mention that the reason that they can sell their letters at a lower price is because from what I understand, 
They purchased surplus letters from other manufacturers that produce leather goods from other brands. Motrim doesn't specify which brands those are, but the short version is when the factory is done producing those leather goods and they have extra leather, Motrim buys them for cheap and then they make their own leather goods with that surplus leather. I would like to make a special mention to their Traveler's Notebook products. They also make Traveler's Notebooks, so if you're not a ring-bound planner type of person, you should check out their Traveler's Notebooks because they look really, really good and I'm really tempted to get one myself. But I just wanted to show you this fabric insert I have. I bought this off of Motown as well and it's really, really nice. I use this to store uh, pictures and other supplies for scrapbooking. So I've got some stickers here, some date stickers, also from Motor. I just like to put it in this zipper compartment here on this fabric insert. And then this insert also has three card slots and a little pocket in here. This is where I keep pictures for my scrapbook or spreads that I'm still working on. So yeah, they have a lot of really, really nice products in their store. I'll link their AliExpress store down below and you can take a look for yourself. And the other thing I wanted to mention are these thread and print wallet inserts. These are made for ring bound planners. So if you're thinking of using your planners as wallets, definitely check them out. I'll link their Etsy shop below as well. So that's it for my quick review of the Motrim Leather Planners. If anybody's interested on my setups, either in my personal or pocket rings planners, I'll be happy to do a video. Otherwise, I hope this was helpful or at the very least interesting. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. This is Spellbound Rose and I'll see you next time.